Hey, what's going on guys? It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back playing some Sky Factory. And today is going to be a power intensive episode because we've got some expensive dimensions we want to be able to run and power, and this just ain't cutting it. 50,000 RF per tick just ain't cutting it. Well, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm getting some juice. As you can see, I've got over five, well, sorry. I've got a 500 million RF stored in, let's see, I'm stacking this tower up, um, in the Viper capacitor here. <laughs> But I can only put out like 500,000 RF per tick. And this thing, well, as you can see, it's max. It's already full. So all the extra energy that this thing is producing is just going to waste. And I don't want to waste it anymore. So what I've done is I have set up, and it's floating over here because I eventually want to do a pretty build with this thing. This is the Draconic Evolution Power Storage. And you can see right now, Energy Core is a tier one. It currently has no charge because we're not putting any energy into it. Because we got to build it. We have to build it. And I have all the stuff put aside for it. I need to make sure. I want to grab the exact amount so that way I know I've built it correctly because this thing is a little bit complicated. Not really complicated, but a little bit. So it goes out. It starts in a 3x3, three three, or sorry, 1, and then 3x3. Three three, and then it branches out in all, all sides. And then it branches out again. And I remember the corners are filled there. And then it branches out like that, and okay. So I just remember that corner has been filled. Okay, I, I've been looking at this and looking at this and trying to make sure I'm going to get it right. And I'm not 100% sure I can get it right the first time. So I'm actually going to do a little fast forward here while I build this because I know it's going to take a little bit of time. But uh, hopefully we get this right and we'll have an awesome <coughs> energy storage. And. Uh, we won't be wasting all that beautiful power that we've been making. And then I'll get you caught up on some of the other stuff that's been going on. But I'm going to get this built and then we will be right back. I think we've got the build done right, I think. I could be wrong, but it looked like I did it right, and I double checked myself. And so now we've got to get a couple more items. First we need these energy pylons, so we can make those probably pretty easily. This guy, energy pylon, right? Um, so I'm going to need two of these and two eyes of ender. Uh, it was those guys, right? Two of these. No, let me let me double check. Pylon. It is the draconic cores. Okay, so two draconic cores and two eyes of ender. All right. I hope I got this right. I don't want to rebuild it. I really don't. Oh, 64 eyes of ender. Okay. Um, draconic core. I know I can limit myself there. And just click two. There we go. Got you. And now, energy pylon. Now I got two. Oh, I only needed, it made two. Okay. And you guys are annoying. Mobs keep appearing up here. 
Okay, I don't think you're gonna be appearing much longer. Let me grab my dirt stick just for the time being. Okay, so dirt stick. Oh. Has to be within 15 blocks, so this will be good. Okay, and I'm gonna make it to it's definitively under, like so. I'm gonna put one there. And we're going to put one there. And those are supposed to be like in and outs. And then glass. Like so. One, two. And these are supposed to go on top. If you're on the bottom half of the thing, they go on top. If you're on the top half, they go on the bottom. Okay. Oh, this is a good sign. This is a good sign. Um, I don't know how you set one to in and one to out, but... Uh, shift right click. There we go. In. Okay, so that's in, that's out. Let's get a tesseract here. And start pumping in some energy. Like so. Reactor, good. Set to send and receive. Um, do I need to like shift right click on this guy? Or do I need to like right click on this guy? How do I start it? The pylons are all in place. Let's just make sure I kept this thing centered the whole time. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I did, okay. I jumped so high now. And you. Okay, what do I need to do to start this thing? It gets all fancy pretty. Okay, the core is then surrounded by a combination of redstone blocks and draconium blocks. The following image shows the configuration as well as the material cost and storage capacity. Once the structure is built, simply shift right click on one of the particle generators with an empty hand. I did, didn't I? Shift right click. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I did it right. I did it right. And it's going to start pumping in millions and millions of energy. Look how fast that fills. Oh, that's so cool looking. That is so, so cool looking. So this is working properly now, which is good. And that is just storing energy like no other. Um, yeah, I'm already over 200. Yeah, oh, it's going to drain that entire vibrant capacitor. And I don't think that vibrant capacitor is ever going to have energy again. Um, that's going to put this in a weird cycle, but I'm actually going to create a tesseract real quick. So then the tesseract will be connected to that. Yeah, connect you. So let's go ahead and start you up. Hopefully I finally configured it right so it creates test racks for me. Because I'd be very sad if it didn't. I like to watch the process to see if it's doing it right. Um, you are crafting endearium ingots, which means you're firing, yes. And then <clears throat> it should fill properly. I think I finally solved the filling properly issue <clears throat> through a lot, a lot, a lot of mistakes. Not testing, <laughs> but mistakes. I'm not even going to act like... I was like working hard at testing it. I just made a ton of mistakes trying to figure it out. All right, come on. You are so slow. And you've got the octadit. Octatic? I'm going to call it octatic. Yeah, that works. Okay, get the last two ingots. Come on. Come on, Cletus. All right. So now you're filling the frame, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm hoping. Please be filling. I hear something off in the distance, which I'm hoping is the fluid transposer filling this guy. And then it's going to get put back into the system, and then it's going to put all these ingots around it, and it's going to be good. Right? <gasps> Ooh, it worked! I find that's actually the first time I've uh, actually made one like that. So at least I know it works. And then you're going to be outport. I can actually just put you into send only mode, can't I? Yeah. And then put you in receive only mode. 
and reactor good redstone signal off and this bad boy should be filling and then I've got power coming out through the tesseracts it's kinda kinda create a cycle oh it's actually it is full on drained the 500 million from this and it is full on drain this so now okay okay that thing looks so cool from a distance that just looks so cool yes we're gonna have to create a really cool build around that thing all right guys so a little bit of time has passed and I kinda wanna show you something um, I am up over 150 billion RF in this bad boy and there's a oops there's a reason for that I I was gonna like add in within this episode um, building one of the turbines but because I'd never done it before I was having some issues and I had to figure it out and when I went back to check the footage and stuff like that I really it was just kind of boring to me and so I just kind of got it done on my own and check out this monstrosity tower of turbines I got a lot of power coming out now um, the the first two I built looked very similar to these right here and I realized that I had actually undercounted and could have added four more enderian blocks in now understand this is uh, almost uh, a week later in like real time almost a week later from when I had finished up that episode and I was uh, doing the editing of the video and I just really didn't like it so I came back in right now to do this um, yeah it's it, it, it works quite well now you can see I got the enderian blocks here but I've got down here what's called uh, ludicrite I think it's called and this stuff is the most efficient coil for turbine glass um, and it's just absolutely amazing and my whole system check this out so before I was uh, I was burning probably about 0.8 I think it was about 0.8 uh, millibuckets per tick and now I'm down to 0.3 this thing itself originally and I've now filled it all with uh, uh, well not filled it's flowing as you can see it's actually flowing it's not filled uh, with the uh, gelid uh, cold stuff but uh, I was getting 54,000 RF per tick from this guy originally these guys individually give me 28,000 each each one of these ones with the pink in it give me 28,000 each so just between these two right here I'm at 54,000 so with these two well this one's not complete yet because I'm still working on it these two right here is basically going to be another 54,000 total combined by the time I'm done switching all of these over to the ludicrite I have 10 turbines running all at 28,000 which means I'm gonna have an output of 280,000 RF per tick and I haven't even dipped into what my generator can actually put out or my reactor can put out I hopped on the big reactor simulator to double check like you know with my specs of my build uh, what I can actually put out right now I'm currently putting out 16 millibuckets per tick um, I can put out over 54,000 millibuckets per tick so I have like basically another uh, well if I double this it would be 32 um, I can almost triple this so I can almost have 30 turbines running off this one generator and 30 turbines at 280,000 RF per tick would give me just shy of 900,000 RF per tick that's pretty sweet that's pretty sweet for the uh, the turbine system or whatever but you'll see in upcoming episodes we've got other stuff coming up I have actually recorded in between um, now and uh, when I'm posting this or whatever so um, or sorry when I or, or first recorded this and now when I'm editing so so anyways I just wanted to get you caught up that I did get the turbines done if you guys want to see okay here's the thing I looked up a couple different things some people explain the turbines really well uh, some people don't explain them really well I think I've kind of mastered it because that's how I roll I'm not gonna I mean I plug and play and try to figure stuff out as I go while I'm recording with you guys but I go back and try to make sure I can maximize uh, everything I can do so if you guys want to see how the turbines are built and how it all works let me know and I might put a short tutorial together with all the turbines and the big reactors and stuff like that but if you don't then don't worry about it just you know let me know but uh, that's gonna wrap up today's episode I wanted to keep it kind of short and we've got our awesome ball o power over here and with the ball of power is going to be coming the next step eventually which is getting to the chaos dragon and uh, whacking that dude so I can get some chaos shards and we can start a chaos reactor 
or uh, a draconic reactor, whatever it's called. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as a whole. I've got some changes coming up, which I will tell you about in, I believe, the next episode. So, um, you know, just likes, comments, subscribes. Let me know what you guys think of the series and uh, keep me informed so I can keep doing what you guys want to see. And until next, that is so cool. It's like a planet just floating back there. Um, until next time, guys, you know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.